explain in English? Basically, without a key to decode the formula, we can't turn it off. So I assume breaking the code isn't... No, it's not easy. Even if I could break it, that would take time. Hmm. Maybe if I... I don't think this will take much time at all. Wait! But you said... Help! What are you doing here? Perhaps he is this Blastia's engineer. No! I mean, I am an engineer and all, but I... I, I was just following orders! I, I swear I never wanted to get involved in something like this! Undo the code and stop this Blastia now! Yes, of course, right away! I'm sorry for surprising you back there. Huh, <laughs> duh. I knew right away you were only trying to make me jump. Oh? At least that's one problem down. Now we can go to Murzo once the weather clears. No! What is it? Could use your help here, kid. Uh, right. Should have known they'd have another one of these. Yuri, don't tell me you did that to keep me from using my power. Don't you think that was a bit reckless? Indeed. Do you have a death wish? This? This is nothing. Yuri, I'm sorry. It was my fault. Hey, you did the same for us before, right? Now we're even. But... Estelle, perhaps a simple thank you would do best. I... Thank you. Moving right along? We'd better do something about that other Blastia. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know... Hey! He's gone! That engineer got away! Fast, little bugger. We better catch him quick. Wait. I'll just have to do it again. They'll find us with the Hoplon Blastia sooner or later if we just go tramping through the woods. And if that happens, somebody might get it in their fool head to go and play hero again. Yeah, but you said it wasn't easy. As long as the knights aren't around, we don't have to worry so much about how long it takes. Besides, who do you think you're dealing with? I'm the genius mage, Rita Mortio. If it's me versus a Blastia, I'll win, or die trying. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. What are you doing? If we leave it like this, someone could use it again. I'll just make a few adjustments. I'm sorry. Ah, <sighs> nothing shines quite so bright as a young person with something they're willing to risk their life for. For somebody who stood on death's doorstep, Saying you'll do something or die trying isn't just a figure of speech. Huh? Death's doorstep? Didn't you say you almost died during the Great War? Huh. Forgot I mentioned that. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying they'll fight to the last breath. Words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. Are you okay, old man? Here I am, running off at the mouth. I get a bit sentimental when I start digging up the past. Come on! Onward!
Come on! Yay! All right! How about a hug? I don't think so. You'll be gone soon enough. Shouldn't you be using this a little more?